Welcome back to Toledo's longest running 9 a.m. show, and we hope you're having a good day. Mm -hmm. And celebrating a birthday always makes for a good day, right? Well, yes. in this case, it makes for a great weekend. Oh, for our John Monk, he's doing a go for one night in Fremont this morning, and that birthday cake is going to have a lot of <laughs> candles on it, right, John? Yeah, I don't know if they can fit 200 candles on a single birthday cake, but this weekend, the Hayes Presidential Museum and Library will be celebrating one of Northwest Ohio's first big national figures that come out of our area, 19th President Rutherford B. Hayes. I'm here joined with Christina Smith from the Hayes Center. Thanks for having us this morning. Thanks for being here. So uh, what's happening this weekend to celebrate the, the bicentennial birthday of uh, uh, Mr. Hayes here? We have a ton of stuff going on. Big celebration planned. Um, we're going to have free museum admission on Saturday and Sunday, so it's your chance to come see the museum for free. We're going to be doing tours of the first floor of the Hayes home at a discounted rate, so you get to see that at a bit of a discount. Um, um, we have a scavenger hunt for kids all day on Saturday, and I believe that's going to continue on Sunday too, so they can stop by and check that out, and that's also free. Um, we have uh, an escape room that yeah. actually starts on Friday night, Friday so Saturday. we're kind of yeah. kicking off a little bit on Friday too. So the escape room has a birthday theme. Basically, First Lady Lucy Hayes has hidden President Hayes' present, <laughs> and you and your team have 30 minutes to find it. Um, so we're doing that uh, three times on Friday, and then we're doing it again three or four times, I believe it's four times on mm -hmm. Saturday. And as you, we, we were speaking before we went live, uh, you can pre-register for the escape room, but you can also walk up if there is space available. Yes. Yeah, so if you want to reserve um, your escape room spot, um, your Hayes Home Tour, you are welcome to do that online. Or if we still have spots open, you're, we definitely are taking walk-ins too. And as of right now, we have quite a few spots open left for both of those things. All right, and I mean, it's, it makes sense to you know celebrate someone who's from here, who's from Northwest Ohio, but I have to imagine there's a lot of Northwest Ohio natives who have never visited the Hayes Museum. Uh, so I guess, what would you say to folks, maybe grease the wheels to come out on a beautiful fall weekend and, and check out what the Hayes has to offer? Well, this is the perfect time to come because we're gonna have the big celebration. Um, you can come see the museum for free, so that doesn't happen that often. And you can see the Hayes home at a discount as well. Uh, and of course, we're gonna have lots of giveaways we're gonna have on Sunday we have a ceremony all day but we're also having cake and ice cream <laughs> uh, so it's your chance to come enjoy some birthday cake um, we're gonna have birthday stickers posters of the Hayes home so we we're giving out birthday gifts to you as well yeah and you guys are doing a special postmark uh, for people as well yeah so um, Hayes's actual birthday is on Tuesday and so we have some events lined up for that day and very excited uh, the Postal Service is coming and they are doing a postmark on mail um, you can also have have something as uh, commemorative stamped they'll be selling some envelopes as well so if you don't have any mail to send to anybody you can still come and get the stamp and there's actually three of them um, and they all commemorate Hayes in some way in his 200th birthday all right so real quick Christina what is your favorite maybe trivia or, or, or little blurb about uh, President Hayes that, that not a lot of people know about? Uh, well, there's so many. Um, I guess my favorite is um, Hay President Hayes is the one who started the White House Easter Egg Roll, which is a tradition that continues today. And we actually have our own Easter Egg Roll here on the Hayes Home Lawn every year. Um, but President Hayes loved kids. He was a great dad. Um, so I think it makes sense that he started a beloved tradition that continues today. And then talk to me real quick about the wreath lane ceremony, because that, that's a real somber event to sort of honor a, a great man from our area. Um, so the wreath lane ceremony is part of the birthday ceremony we'll have on Sunday. Um, that starts at one o'clock. We're going to have musicians from Terra State Community College here. We're gonna have lots of dignitaries here speaking and then we're gonna process to the tomb which is here on the grounds. Um, President Biden is sending military representatives to lay a wreath at the tomb. We'll have Hayes family members here who are laying a wreath. The ambassador from Paraguay is going to be here. It's a beautiful ceremony. Uh, veterans do a 21 gun salute um, and our events coordinator Joan Eckerman sings every year she's an amazing singer mm -hmm. so it, it is a beautiful uh, kind of somber ceremony it's it's very meaningful and then after that that's when we'll have the birthday party with the cake and reception behind the Hayes home and everybody is invited to well, that thanks for having us here Christina so for anyone who's a lover of history local history or if you'd like to get a new appreciation for some local history you have a full weekend of events here at the Hayes Center that you can 
can take part in, and uh, I'll have more on what you can do coming up later today at 5 for my Go 419 feature story. But for now, we're putting live from Fremont. I'm John Monk. Back to you guys. All right, John, thank you. Right, and birthday cake is there, so yeah, if cake you love history cream. and cake, oh, <laughs> this is the weekend for you. Absolutely. Yes. Now, you are watching Toledo's original 9 a.m. show, Good Day. And, Diane, it's time to get in a good stretch. Uh -huh. <laughs> we're sweating with Stephen, but no judgment. Good day. We'll be right back.